Now, if you're wondering where I've been these last few days, well, I've been assisting the locals with a little itty bitty problem they've been having in Hope County, Montana. All hell is breaking loose. Everybody seems to be high as a kite on this bliss stuff. Don't you kids watch the news? Get off bloody social media and go out and enjoy some sunshine. Actually, I don't believe I've seen it rain in the whole time I've been in Montana, but at this present time, a relaxing vacation, it is not. Okay, okay, all jokes aside, I'm Tim Westwood. Yo, I grew up very athletic, hard-headed, thought I knew everything, wanted to do everything. I was spoiled, stubborn, the only child, so the only thing I could do was hold it down. No, seriously, all jokes aside this time. Welcome back, I'm Fox at FoxyGames underscore UK. Subscribe to the channel and follow on Twitter for your source of aggregate news, rumor, and video game discussion with an emphasis on PlayStation, but spanning a variety of platforms. Now, if you're new to the channel, let us know how you found us. And please remember to thumbs up the video if you like. Views expressed in our videos are those of third parties and do not necessarily represent the views of Foxy Games UK. All relevant links can be found in this video's description. Okay, so now we've got the formalities out of the way. Today's background game footage comes courtesy of Far Cry 5 and for good reason. It's a stunning game that anyone who loves first person open world shooters should buy immediately, but more on that later. Let's get into our first news story in an article published by Eurogamer.com. No Man's Sky is headed to Xbox One. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are, along with the next really big update, which is all planned to arrive for this summer. Eurogamer via Twitter spoke to Hello Games or communicated, conversed. Hello Games has announced that its ever-expanding space exploration sim, No Man's Sky, will get its next big update this summer and will also be heading to Xbox One. The new update has been given the name Next because, says Hello Games Sean Murray, is a quote, it's an important next step on a longer journey for us and the community. Now, No Man's Sky's previous update, Atlas Rises, launched in August of last year. There's no word yet on what exactly Code Next will bring to No Man's Sky, but Murray calls it the biggest update so far. It's seemingly so big, in fact, that it even gets its own logo. More notably is the announcement that No Man's Sky is heading to Xbox One, marking an end to its PlayStation 4 console exclusivity. It is also available on PC. The Xbox One version will include all previous updates as well as the new next update at launch and will be enhanced for Xbox One X with high dynamic range HDR and 4K support. A physical edition will be released worldwide by 505 Games. And in other news, highly anticipated Spider-Man set to launch exclusively on PS4 sometime this year has had a really pretty exciting update recently. The Sony Marvel collaboration is currently receiving the finishing touches over at developer Insomniac Games and the development team have revealed that they have some cool stuff planned and I quote, we're waiting for the right time to reveal it. Hmm, translation, wait till E3. A phrase we've all heard multiple times this generation, I'm sure. Reported by GearNewt.com, Spider-Man PS4 has been shown at really two major E3 conferences by Sony, but aside from that, it has never really revealed much of the game. This has resulted in fans getting a bit anxious because they are curious to know more about their favorite superhero, but the marketing is just not picking it up despite the game still launching this year. Recently, one fan approached the art director of Insomniac Games, Jacinda Chu, on Twitter to complain about the lack of info, as you do. On the game in its release year, Jacinda Chu assured the fan that they have a lot of cool stuff planned at the moment, but they want to make sure that everything is right before they can show it off. Here's a quote. Now I can assure you we can do better than that. We have some cool stuff planned, but we'd like to make sure everything is just right before moving forward, and I appreciate everyone's patience. Spider-Man PS4 is being developed by Insomniac Games while under the supervision of Marvel Entertainment. It is one of the many blockbuster projects from Marvel that they currently have in production, in addition to the Square Enix collaboration for several Avengers video games. Spider-Man PS4 was initially revealed back at E3 2016, then made another appearance at E3 2017, no doubt may appear at E3 2018. That's three E3s in a row, people. The development of the game seems to be progressing smoothly, but the marketing is radio silent for the most part. The game was confirmed to launch in 2018, but there is no release window for it yet. 
Spider-Man PS4 will release exclusively on console and will be published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Okay, now moving on in other news, Microsoft, Facebook or Tencent could buy Discord. Discord is a one-stop shop for all of your gaming needs. Discord has low latency voice chat, screen sharing, rings for sharing content with your friends and has become really ubiquitous, a choice for gamers really trying to connect with one another but they have a problem, they haven't found a way to broadly monetize the platform and you know they want to make money from it. For this new segment, we'll focus on Microsoft as they're obviously Sony's direct competitor. So Microsoft are apparently sniffing out Discord, or at the very least interested in snapping up Discord for a variety of reasons that could greatly benefit the company. And really, here are a few of those reasons. Xbox Games with Gold, a rolling list of free Xbox, really one and Xbox 360 games available to members every month. Then there's Game Pass, a paid service giving you access to new Xbox One exclusives and over 100 other games with a monthly fee. Game Pass is a market disruptor. The owner of an English GameStop really recently said that for the consumer, Xbox Game Pass is fantastic, but for retail, it just kills us outright. Then you've got EA Access, similar to Xbox Game Pass, but for Electronic Arts published titles and backwards compatibility. Over 400 OG Xbox and Xbox 360 games can now be played on your Xbox One. And of course, Xbox Play Anywhere. Buy an Xbox Play Anywhere digital game through the Xbox Store or the Windows Store and you get it on both the Xbox One and Windows 10. So how is this all linked and how does it all tie into a possible Discord acquisition? Well, it's clear that Microsoft is still Steering their business towards a world where you buy a game and play it wherever you are, either on PC or on a box in front of you or your TV, any device to be honest, as Microsoft have gone to great lengths to emphasize. Imagine how Discord could fit into this model, a chat platform that everyone loves to use whose best features are really integrated into the Xbox experience and elevates the Xbox and Mixer platforms. Sounds like a really big win for Microsoft if they could pull this off. Now, we're going slightly off script here, so forgive the brain possibly going blank as the neurons take time to ignite thought, but I think we need to talk about Xbox. Now look, I have a fondness for the brand. I've supported various Xbox products way back since 2002, so I think I've earned the right to at least have an opinion. What do you think, eh? Now with that being said, there's been some impressive console exclusive games on Xbox One. One example being Sunset Overdrive, and it's in my opinion that Sunset Overdrive deserved to be a mega hit. Insomniac, one of my favorite studios, really put the work in, producing a stunningly beautiful original game for Microsoft. Now Sunset Overdrive in theory should have had a sequel by now, but for some reason Microsoft just aren't interested. Insomniac even put the feelers out via Twitter, tweeting they would love to develop a Sunset Overdrive sequel, but they need a publisher. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Microsoft. Now I guess when you think about it, Xbox gamers are the reason there is no Sunset Overdrive 2, because the cold, harsh reality is, overwhelmingly, the Xbox community supports early access, buggy, poor performance, subpar games like PUBG, Ark Survival Evolved, and the glorified social chat room, as it's been described by IGN in their review, but with potential. Sea of Thieves. Now, it's not to say that these games can't be great somewhere down the road, but at launch, these games were severely lacking. So Microsoft look at Sunset Overdrive sales statistics and they do the math and they look and say, hey, we're losing a ton of money due to slow, poor sales. Then Microsoft looks over at PUBG and they say, well, look at Ark Survival games still in early access and selling millions within weeks. Do you know it took Sunset Overdrive almost a year to hit a million? I'm not even sure if they've hit a million yet. Now, I mean, quite literally, these games are not finished. They're in early access, but Xbox game out, gamers, pardon me, go out in droves to support it. How on earth does PUBG even get nominated at the Game Awards? Really is beyond me. The game is not even finished. It's still in the oven baking. Put simply, Microsoft are just not into taking risks these days. Everything Microsoft Game Studios put out from this point going forward will have a pay system tied into it. Yes, service-based gaming. Games that the company hoped to service for up to 10 years or so. 
that's how it is now I'm afraid and like it or lump it that's where Microsoft is going so Phil Spencer gave Xbox gamers fair warning uh, I think last year when he himself alluded to single player games being a risky investment for Microsoft and they don't really make a whole lot of money for the company so really only a newbie egg born of a rampant ostrich would be surprised that Microsoft are really heading full speed in this direction now Microsoft can't even be straight with the game community regarding their latest title Sea of Thieves success. Instead of revealing how much it sold, Microsoft have chosen to reveal stats just like they did with Dead Rising 4, like how many zombie heads were shot off with a sniper, 50 million I suppose, how many did the game sell we don't know, more like how about like 2 million people have played Sea of Thieves. Now obviously this does not equate into actual sales. For instance, 700,000 people could have purchased Sea of Thieves, but 2 million people have managed to play it. Because of this lack of clarity, Microsoft come off like some type of dodgy used car salesperson. Microsoft keep changing metrics and par parameters really this whole gen one might say microsoft is the master in the art of finessing they have gone from once upon a time being at the top of the game industry with the xbox 360 at least for a time and now microsoft have turned into the pr overlords quite literally okay so i don't do reviews anymore and no I don't really have any plans to return to them they just take up too much time especially if you want to put out a quality review for a game you actually completed rather than toss out any old rubbish but yeah buy this game Far Cry 5 it's absolutely fantastic amazing amazing game so I will just advise anyone who really enjoys a meaningful open world game without all the fluff and padding to really rush out and buy this game without hesitation Far Cry 5 easily is the best looking first person story driven narrative heavy first person shooter on your PS4 Pro or Xbox One and PC right now. Yes Horizon Zero Dawn is very pretty but that is not a first person shooter it just so happens to be the prettiest third person action RPG if you like. And the Seed family what can I say about the Seed family three brothers and a sister all leaders of a cult I mean the head of the cult Joseph actually thinks he's Jesus and speaking of sisters I have to admit I'm slightly bewitched by faith what an interesting character arguably the standout character in the entire game and believe me the quality of the voice work is top-notch so she's got some stiff competition now hopeless county in Montana really feels alive the game world is free of all that fluff and padding present in prior entries of the series a series that's mostly being of a very high standard if we're being honest though primal kinda took a turn for the worse and went a bit too far south for me so yeah as you can see from all of this awesome gameplay footage that Far, Far Cry 5 is an absolute blast and a stunner of a game just when open world games were starting to really fatigue along comes Ubisoft with a gritty brutal tone of a game a tone that somewhat is really close to home for a lot of people in this rather oddly disjointed world that we live in. Having put around 6 hours into Far Cry 5 I really cannot emphasize how much of a literal blast this game is to play so yeah this is not a review but Far Cry 5 is quite possibly one of the best in the series just behind Far Cry 3. Incidentally Far Cry 3 released back in 2012 on PS3 and Xbox 360 and PC is currently receiving the 4K remaster treatment and will launch on May 29 for season pass holders which I am I have the gold edition and the game will release on June 26 for the common folk aka those who didn't bother with a season pass or were not smart enough to even pick up this awesome game. In all seriousness with all these incredible PS4 and PS4 Pro AAA first party exclusives coming and incredibly well crafted third party games I really don't see the need for a PlayStation 5 anytime soon but we have around two years until the next gen PlayStation sits proudly under your TV so until then just enjoy high fidelity games on your current gen console but what do you think have you played Far Cry 5 yet and are you having a blast of it or not your cup of tea, let us know in the comments.
because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion in the video comments. For more PS4, Nintendo Switch and Xbox One coverage, subscribe to Foxy Games UK. And if you found any of the information in this video at all useful, go ahead and hit the like button and help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing this video. And for just one USD, one UK pound or equivalent, become a member by joining Foxy Games UK Patreon and help us grow. You can find the link in this video's description. Thanks for all your support. And so there we have it. Until next time, always remember, play games not corporations. Thanks for watching everybody.